the love of your life? Jack, you get three great loves. First love, the one who got away, and the love of your life. She's the one who got away. If she was the love of your life, then your life is over. The love of your life is still out there somewhere waiting for you. You act like I don't know what I'm talking about here. Like I haven't been burned before. I was quasi-engaged once, Stacy. You move on. You kill the love. You say goodbye once and for all. It's only hard because you're the one who got dumped. She left you and now you're stuck like Wednesday, right in the middle. You can't move ahead, you can't move back. And so now you're destined to spend hours of worthless energy obsessing about what you can't have. I mean, I could smack you every morning in the head with a 2x4 labeled she's gone and it's over and it still wouldn't make a lick of difference. And do you want to know why? Because the heart will kick the brain's ass every time. Even if the brain's message is you two aren't meant for each other. I repeat, you two aren't meant for each other. <sighs> what I should have done is told you the truth the first time. Right before you got engaged, you asked me, do you think I should get married? And I said, why are you getting married? And you said, well, I think it's time. And then we had some bullshit conversation. The truth is, anyone who ever says they're getting married because it's time is destined for disaster. The only right answer to why are you getting married is because I'm in love. So stop acting like such a jellyfish and move on.